So I want to find out what those whispers were about. Let's read some more Dragon Masters. Chapter 10, Worm's Story. Drake stepped inside Worm's dark cave and Worm opened one eye. I need to shine your scales, Drake said. He was carrying a brush, a basket, and towels. Drake looked at Worm's brown scales. They're not shiny, he said, but I'll clean them anyway. Drake was still getting used to being around Worm. The dragon's head was as big as Drake. Worm could swallow Drake in one gulp if he wanted to. But something about Worm made Drake feel peaceful. Drake gently brushed one of Worm's scales. The big dragon made a sound low in his throat. Worm smiled and closed his eyes. Sounds to me like he's enjoying bath time. You like that? Drake asked. Worm made another purring sound. Good. He cleaned Worm's scale, scales one at a time. I kind of miss the onion fields back home, Drake said to his dragon. It was hard work, but I loved being outside. Drake started to clean Worm's head. I really miss my family. Drake said. He scratched behind Worm's ears like he did his cat. Then he felt his hand start tingling. He tried to take his hand off of Worm, but he couldn't. It was stuck. Drake's eyes widened. He looked at Worm. The dragon was staring hard at him. Pictures popped into Drake's head. He saw the cave from his nightmare. He saw the explosion again. Before, Drake had woken up, but this time, the pictures just kept coming. Worm was trying to get out of the cave, but the other dragons were in the way. Then soldiers rushed the cave. Each soldier's shirt had a dragon sewn on it. The king's soldiers? Drake asked. The soldiers wrapped Worm in chains. They dragged him out of the cave. Oh! Drake could hear Worm's cry. Then his hand stopped tingling and the pictures left his head. See all the pictures that he could read from his dragon? Drake looked at Worm. Did that really happen? Did the king's men take you away from your family? Just like they took me away from mine. Worm nodded. I'm so sorry, Drake said. He threw his arms around Worm's neck. Worm closed his eyes. All his life, Drake had looked up to King Roland. But why would the king's men treat Worm like a prisoner? Wondered Drake. Maybe he isn't such a good king after all. What do you think? Chapter 11, A Noise in the Night. Good job cleaning worms scales, Drake, Griffith said, walking into the cave. Drake wasn't going to say anything about what worm had shown him. Not yet. But he did have a question for Griffith. How did the dragons get here? He asked. The king's soldiers searched far and wide, Griffith replied. It's not easy to find a dragon. Most people have never even seen one. But the king did not give up. His soldiers were able to capture these four. But did the dragons want to come here? Drake asked. The king does not always think about what the dragons want, Griffith said darkly. Now come, it's time for supper. After they ate, Bo and Drake went to their room. Bo was teaching him how to write the alphabet. See, so he's got his tongue. He's got to hold his tongue just right. Trying to write. How many of you do that? Bo drew a capital D and a lowercase d. See, Bo said, the big D looks like a dragon with a big belly.
He drew a picture on the paper. Like Vulcan, Drake said with a laugh. And Bo laughed too. Moonlight glinted off of Bo's dragonstone. It reminded Drake of something he'd wanted to ask Bo about. Does your dragonstone ever glow? Drake asked. Bo shook his head. No, he said. Why do you ask? It's just, I thought I saw mine glow once, Drake said, when I was with Worm. Well, that's interesting, Bo said. You should tell Griffith. Drake nodded. Tomorrow, he said. Drake wrote rows of letters, letter D before he went to sleep. He thought he would dream of D's or maybe of Worm again. But just after he climbed into bed, funk, Drake heard a loud noise. He sat up and saw two figures standing by Bo's bed. Can you tell who they are? Chapter 12, A Sneaky Plan. The two figures turned around. It was Rory and Anna. What do you want? Asked Drake. Go back to sleep. Rory snapped. Why should I? He snapped back. Drake was getting tired of Rory being so bossy. I think I would be tired of that too. Yeah, why should he be? Bo said. And why are you two here? Anna spoke up. We're going to go bring our dragons outside while the rest of the castle is asleep. Do you guys want to come? You can bring Worm and Shoe. This is a bad idea, Bo said. No, it's not, Rory said. We're dragon masters. We should be able to take our dragons out whenever we want to. You have a point, Drake agreed. And I do think Worm would like to go outside again. Bo looked worried. What if Griffith finds out? He asked. What if the king finds out? They won't find out, Rory said. So long as neither of you say anything. She looked them both in the eyes. Well, come on then, said Anna. Drake slipped on his shoes. He followed the others down the hall. The door to Griffith's room was open. He was snoring loudly. Rory put a finger to her lips. As they tiptoed past the door, Drake peeked inside. The wizard's long beard flew up and down every time he snored. Sounds like he's a deep sleeper. The dragon masters walked down the stairs. The guard in front of the training room was asleep too. That's Simon. Rory whispered. He always falls asleep. They tiptoed past Simon and into the training room. Simon's not doing a very good job, is he? The torches were not lit, so the room was black. Rory lit a candle. Then she passed candles to each of them. Now let's get the dragons, she said, still whispering. They reached Vulcan's cave first. Rory opened the gate. Wake up, Vulcan, she said. We're going outside. Grumbling, Vulcan got to his feet. Anna and Bo woke up their dragons. Drake went into Worm's cave. Does Vulcan look very happy about getting woken up in the middle of the night? Worm, do you want to go outside? Asked Drake. Worm lifted his head. His eyes shot wide open. They stared right at Drake. Drake got a strange feeling. What do you think the look on his face is? Come on, Worm, Drake said. But Worm didn't move. He just stared at Drake. Is he trying to tell me something? Drake wondered. Rory, Anna, and Bo walked up to Worm with their dragons. Is Worm coming? Rory asked. Suddenly, Jake froze. He heard words inside his head. Do not go in the tunnel. Join me next time for chapter 13, Trouble in the Tunnel.